In this example, we're going to stick with the cat on a broomstick case because it's a pretty fun uh, situation to work in. So we have a cat on a broomstick and it actually coughs up a, a huge hairball and the cat's traveling with, well, actually here at rest on earth is you. So you're just standing there and you're watching this whole situation go down. So relative to you, stationary on earth, you observe that this cat flying on a broomstick is traveling at 70% the speed of light or 0.7 times C and you see that the cat coughs up a, a hairball and it's a perhaps a, an exuberant cough and the hairball is traveling at 80% the speed of light relative to the cat so the cat's going at 70% the speed of light and it, it coughs up a really big hairball and relative to the cat, now the hairball is going at 80% of the speed of light. So, how would we work through this problem? And the tra traditional way, you know, you do 0 0.7 plus 0 0.8, and you'd end up breaking the laws of physics, which you cannot do with 1.5c. That is not good. So, the way we're going to do this is we're going to use the Lorentz velocity transformation and if you remember in the past example we were trying to get the velocity with respect to the cat but now we want to figure out the velocity which you would see here on earth so with respect to you on earth on earth because nothing can break the speed of light. So C is the universal speed law. So we would use this equation and in this equation we would have the velocity which you observe from Earth of the cat on the broomstick which is 0.7 C and we would have the velocity with respect to the cat that the cat sees of its uh, extreme hairball that it coughed up and then we would have the velocity which you would see with respect to you uh, of the hairball. And so obviously the hairball is not traveling at one and a half times the speed of light. So we need to figure out what speed you would be able to see that at. So we use the equation now. So the velocity of the hairball relative to the cat. And u is just for velocity and it's traveling to the right on the x-axis so traveling to the right is positive, traveling left is negative plus the velocity of the cat with respect to u which is 0.7c all of that divided by 1 plus the velocity of the hairball with respect to the cat so 0.8c times the velocity of the cat and the broomstick with respect to you, 0.7c all divided by c squared. Again, the, uh, the c's are going to cancel here. And this will come down to 1.5c divided by 1 plus 0 0.8 times 0 0.7. So let's put that into our calculator now. 1 plus 0.8 times 0.7. So the velocity you would see is 961c. And really, you know, c is just 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. So we could represent this another way as times 3 to the 8. So this could also be 28846153.9 meters per second, which is pretty fast. So this is how you would determine it if the two relativistic velocities are traveling in the same direction. And in the previous video, we figured out how you would determine it if the two velocities were traveling towards each other, so in the opposite direction. Uh, that is basically it. Uh, okay, see you in the next video.